Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Jimmy Irwin. The senior midfielder scored the game-tying goal in a 1-1 draw against St. Gregory's last week. And the Stars are now 5-4-2 and two on the season. And uh, that game winning, or game-tying goal, rather, was your first goal of your career. Uh, what was that experience like? Uh, it was an amazing experience. It was, uh, for the most part, very relieving for me. I've been here almost four years now playing, and... Uh, a little bit sad to say that was my first goal, but it, it felt pretty good to get that one out of the way. Hopefully, uh, get some more to follow that. You've started 40 games in your OCU career. What would you describe as your role on this team? Oh, thank you for throwing out that. And now I've played over 40 games and only one goal. So, uh, <laughs> um, no, my role, I've, uh, I've been here a while. I have a little bit of experience in the conference games, a little bit more of a veteran on the team, one of the older guys. Uh, I would say for me it's really just to provide as much guidance as I can for the other younger players, guys that haven't been through it as much. And, on and off the field, just uh, be sure we're doing the right things at all times to help the team out. Over the course of your career, your team is 16-6-6 uh, six and six when playing at home at Stars Field. What is it that makes it so tough to play there? It, just the environment as a whole, we really thrive in. Having our fans there and just a field that we play on every single day, something that we're really just comfortable with when we come into the games. In the, in the locker rooms and the pregame and everything, we really just try to st stress that uh, we do not lose at home. And it's just helped us a lot to be able to win a game. So. Your coach, Brian Harvey, is one of the winningest coaches in the NAI. What's it been like playing for him? It's really been an honor to play for him, to be able to play and learn from someone who knows as much about the game as him. And uh, It's truly been a blessing that I'm very grateful for. OCU is now 2-1-2 two, two in conference play. What are your expectations for this team going forward? Uh, me as well as the rest of the team, we feel very confident about conference. Uh, I don't feel like we've really been outplayed in any of the games. We've been a little bit unfortunate in front of the goal these last few games. Um, probably shouldn't have tied when we did. In the loss we had, we outplayed the team almost the whole game. And, of course, we turned off for the last minute of the game, and they managed to score on one of their only chances. Um, but as far as playing these other teams in conference, we feel really confident, and I think we're going to do pretty well. What's your major here at OCU? I'm a finance major. And what are your career plans following soccer? Uh, after soccer, I plan on going and getting my master's and then trying to find a job in the oil and gas industry here in Oklahoma City. If you didn't play soccer, what sport would you play? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I played basketball a lot growing up when I was little, but I'm too short and slow for that. Uh, probably golf. I really like golf. I've been playing golf a lot lately, and uh, it's really enjoyable and relaxing, so I'd probably say golf. All right, very good. We're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Jimmy Irwin. The soccer team returns to action against former Sooner Athletic Conference member Southern Nazarene on October 19th. They return to conference play against Oklahoma Baptist on October 22nd. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to women's basketball coach Latricia Trammell. The Stars will open their season on November 3rd with an exhibition game in College Station against uh, Texas A&M. And, uh, Coach, you've got three returning seniors on this squad with Autumn Huffman and two players that are in their fourth year with the program, Kara Pugh and Kayla McKenzie. What can you say about them uh, heading into this season? Well, great three senior returners. I'm very blessed to have them. Uh, they have a season under their belt. They understand our, our philosophy on offense and defense, and they really are doing a great job of helping me teach the newcomers and, and catching them up. And, and again, I can't say enough about those three young ladies. Several newcomers on this team, uh, a senior, Autumn Lau, as well as a girl who's been uh, named a team captain, Yvonne Neal. Uh, tell us about your newcomers this year. Well, we have seven new players. Um, home states range from Pennsylvania to Georgia to um, California, to Africa. And so we've got a good combination, great personalities, um, have some great talent. Uh, out of that seven newcomers, 
Uh, only one is a senior. The rest are young but experienced. And so this is going to be a special team. I've, I've really enjoyed coaching them on a daily basis and looking forward to getting the season started. And you're going to open up in College Station against Texas A&M. You'll also have an exhibition game against Baylor. <laughs> Uh, that's a tough slate. <laughs> Fortunately, they don't count. But right. uh, what is that going to be able to teach you about your team? Love playing exhibition games. Very blessed that Texas A&M, an NCAA powerhouse, along with Baylor, uh, giving us this opportunity. Uh, get to play in a great environment against some of the best players in the country. Uh, they will definitely expose our weaknesses and what we need to continue to improve on. And um, it, it's just a great experience. I mean, I have much respect for Gary Blair and Kim Mulkey, and it's, it's just going to be a lot of fun. Your team was picked by the coaches to finish first in the conference. Uh, obviously, preseason rankings are what they are, but what does right. that say about your program and where you stand among this conference? Well, like I've said before, I think uh, I appreciate, we're humbled and honored that our conference uh, respects our program to rank us at number one. Um, obviously, we've got to get the job done and meet our expectations, but it is an honor. I mean, we have a tough conference, great coaches, great teams in, our, in, that, in this conference, and um, we're looking forward to the challenge and, and living up to those expectations. So uh, tell us about the, the catchphrase that you have, fired up, it's game day. <laughs> I, I don't know what, where I started that. I, I, I've been saying that my entire career of coaching. I just walk in the gym and say, fire up, it's game day, or fire up, two days to game day. And I, I, like I said, I, who knows where I got that from, but it's something that, I've all, that I always say. In fact, we wear T-shirts that say it, and it just, it's just been fun. Last season, you led your team to the regular season conference championship. What ingredients go into a championship team? Oh, my gosh, how much time do we have <laughs> right here? Uh, you know, team chemistry, loyalty, commitment. Uh, you have to get, be able to get through the adversity and, and, and buy-in you know, to what we're trying to accomplish. And, and you know, I'm sure I've mentioned work, work ethic, uh, but there's just a lot of things that play into a championship team. And I, I think that these girls have the ingredients to be very successful. And, and uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting started and, and uh, scrimmaging in a couple of weeks and then traveling to Texas a and and Baylor. So it should be fun. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Talking Thank to you. women's basketball coach Latricia Trammell. Hard to believe it's already basketball time. November 3rd, they will travel to College Station, Texas, take on Texas A&M.